name Don't talk about the future I won't ask about your past This could be eternity I'll burn out fast I can't see where it goes Everybody, it sounds like I've got some explaining to do. So this is the weirdest thing. I had it in my head today that Weekly Wacky Wednesday started at noon. I have no idea where that came from, but I'm just sitting here, you know, I'm like, I don't know, it just feels like it came earlier than normal today, but okay, you know, I gotta, gotta make sure I'm ready to go. And I'm sitting here watching the countdown and I'm reading the comments and everyone's just as confused as I am. So here in the United States, we change our clocks this weekend, I think. I think Europe is a week ahead of us, so there's that kind of like extra two hour thing. But it doesn't help that I also added an hour onto it. So I guess I'm uh, I'm ahead of the game, but in the wrong direction? I don't know. I always get confused about setting my clocks back. But it's nothing that a little bit of dancing can't fix. Am I right? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh indeed. Well, for everyone who's uh, who got the pop-up and is here early, thank you so much for being here early. And for everyone that's going to come at 1 o'clock and go, what the heck? Why is this already aired? Thank you for watching. Greetings from the past. Hey, I, I don't know what happened. I guess my mind just temporarily stopped working. I don't, we've only done a hundred and how many? A hundred and twelve of these. You would think I would have it together. Thank you so much, donor. Hey, everybody on the interwebs. It is a very, very, very exciting. I'm an overachiever, I guess. It's funny because I was up early this morning walking my dog and I was like, all right, I'm going to take a little nap before Weekly Wacky. And I, got, I went, okay, well, I need to make sure I set my alarm for 11 so I can wake up with enough time to get ready. Apparently, I need to go back to sleep. 
I don't know. It's been a very busy week, but uh, hmm. Frank, I appreciate some uh, some excite some <laughs> some polite expediting. That would be a good company name. Hi, we're polite expedite. So that's right. Why is today such an exciting day? Because officially Superman is out into the world. That's right. The album Superman that I've been talking about and teasing for the last year, it seems, is officially here. Girl next door. I could not be more excited to finally have Superman out into the world. And I, I just want to give everyone such a huge, huge, huge thank you for supporting the album, listening to the little previews you've heard on Weekly Wacky Wednesday, ordering copies. It means a lot to me because it's definitely not something that I could do on my own. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting. Uh, we had our record release show on Wednesday, a week ago, and the full band was there. Everybody that played on the record was there. Linda Taylor, Ed Roth, Leo Costa, Daniel Pearson. It was truly a wonderful night. And it was so great to talk to Linda and just say, we did it, we did it. It finally came out. Hey, Tom. Yeah, for everyone just joining, apparently Weekly Wacky Wednesday started an hour early today. I don't know why. In my mind, this was so clearly the starting time. And I'm watching it count down. I'm like, all right, we're ready. And then everyone was confused. I'm confused. I don't know. I'm on a whole other time zone, apparently. But the show was great. And then I also have a show in Santa Clarita on Friday. And I just got the news yesterday that it is 100% sold out. They said they're going to have to turn folks away at the door, which um, is a bummer for anyone that just comes to the door and didn't buy tickets. But... Uh, it's not every day I sell out a show, so I'm really excited. When we would be on big tours in Europe, a lot of times when you sell out, the promoter would bring, you know, champagne. I'm not really a champagne person, and it's not as if it's, you know, the largest venue on earth, but I might have to make myself a fancy tomato spritz to, uh, to celebrate. It's been dark here, I'm not going to lie. I have run out of tomato spritz and there's a bit of sadness in my heart. I, I do need to just run to the store and get some. I just haven't done it yet. So it's, it's been a spritzless couple weeks here. Maybe that's why my time is off. Mm. Michael says, if the show had started on time, he would have had to miss most of it. So we're reaching some more people. So, uh, so there you go. Hi, wasn't it one hour late? Yep, we started an hour early. I don't know why, but by the time I realized we had already started and it was too late to go back. So Superman, yes, I thought I do have a theme for Weekly Wacky Wednesday and it's quite a strange theme, but I thought before I launch into that, ooh, there's a wonderful cabaret tomato song in Polish. That sounds amazing. I love Polish. I love tomatoes. I love cabaret. I love cabernet. Uh, Cabernet. Oh, drink your coffee, Sarah. It is so much fun. So, I thought I'd sing a couple of the songs off the record for you. And I'm curious, are there any songs that you would like to hear? Do you have any requests from Superman now that it is here in the world and we are celebrating its release? Happy birthday, Superman! Every light, four walls. Okay, those are the first two things I saw, so I'm jumping in there. Uh, four walls came first in chronology, so I'm going to go there first, then every light. Let's see. Make sure these levels are okay. You said four walls.
getting stronger every day And I know the clouds will roll away Just a little time I've got away And I'll be better Yes, I'm lighter every day No, I'm carrying this way I know things are gonna change One of the songs off of Superman that is called Four Walls, and it is track six. Toby says over on Facebook, um, we've got streaming both on Facebook and on YouTube this morning. And so I'm reading comments on both platforms. And uh, Toby says, honestly, didn't know that Ed Roth was in your band and that you recorded at Marco's studio. Yes. The, the awesome Ed Roth is on keys and various different things. He's on Rhodes, he's on Wurlitzer, he's on this awesome upright piano that they have uh, over at Robbie Krieger's Horse Latitude Studio in, I guess it's kind of on the border of Burbank and um, Glendale. And it's a great studio. Marco runs it. It's a really wonderful place. Great folks. And they came to celebrate the release of Superman, which really meant a lot. I didn't know they were coming, so it was a surprise. Fred says that that feels like a very Fred song to him, which makes me so happy. So the other request that we had, this is my 12 p.m. brain rather than my 1 p.m. brain. It's a little slower. It's had less time to consume coffee, but that's okay. No filter. Hey. Um... I'm wearing my comfy fall clothes today because here in Southern California, it finally feels like fall. It is so much fun to just be able to be on the couch, to wear a sweater, to have a blanket, to snuggle with a dog. Some of these mornings, it's pretty cold here, so Mm, I love it. All right. What was the song? We were talking about every light. Your name is a melody, face is a symphony. Whenever I see you, you cut to the heart of me. Wrapped up in the thought of you, my heart starts coming to you.
Go, Fred. It's good to have you here. This side, uh, this stream will be here later. So there you go. There are a couple of songs from Superman. I would love to do words, but it's a little. I don't know. That's one of those songs that it feels a little difficult to do without the full band. I don't know. It's pretty. It's pretty grand. So let's raise our coffee cups. To, uh, to a successful release. Thank you, everyone, for making it possible. It's kind of a slower, more quiet morning here. So it's uh, an a cappella version of words. I don't even know what that would sound like. We could do a little bit of it, maybe. We can see, we can discover what it will sound like together. Of course, I don't have delays on this council. We'll just have to make up for it with a little bit of reverb. Oh, 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 my toe. Still the words will come. Twisted, turning. But I see for miles and miles and the tide is rising But I'm holding on, on and on and on On and on and on
the little abridged version. Oh, that'd be really fun to sing in a church. Oh, the reverb would be amazing. A bit Gregorian and a bit Middle, Middle Eastern. I can definitely see that. Has GarageBand guy been performing lately? I'm really sad to say GarageBand has not been performing lately. I'm worried about him, although my guess is he probably just signed a huge record deal and now he's he's been instructed not to do his garage concerts. He's going to just play Radio City, Madison Square. So I think he's he's holding it over and waiting for that. I'm afraid our days of Garage Man have come to an end. I'm sad because it was it was truly special. It was a very special thing. All right, let's do um, one more tune from Superman. And I'm thinking I'm going to take a, a self request. What do you want to hear, self? Well, how about? Come to me. I love the groove on this track so much. This might be one of my favorite songs to listen to the band playing because it just blows my mind. So here's Come to Me. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah. 
so much of that song is the importance of the dialogue between the vocal and the band. So it's kind of hard to do. You almost have to hear that one live to, to get the full vibe. Speaking of which, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. If you're watching this, The Mint, I'm still waiting. I'm waiting to get the footage from the concert. And uh, hopefully I will have it soon. And as soon as I do, uh, we'll get that up and we'll be able to have a stage it, which I can't wait to, to be able to share with everyone. So you can kind of feel as if you were at the show because the show took these songs to a whole new world. We kind of took the album and then since it was live, we were able to expand upon it, trade off back and forth. And, and hear them go kind of to a new world. So, yes, yes, yes. As soon as I get those files, I will be able to get them to you. I am ready. I am ready, too. Yeah, Terry knows. It was, a, it was a lot of, it was a blast. So, hungry for the stage it. I know, me too. So, um, I do have a theme in mind for this weekly Wacky Wednesday. And this is a pretty obscure theme, so I'm not sure how many people will get it. But if anyone has a chance of getting it, it might take at least three songs or so for a pattern to be established. And I'm sure there are always multiple patterns that... What the heck? Oop, I went away. Where did I go? <laughs> Hang on. I'm gone. Where did I go? I'm hiding. Hang on, somehow it got moved. My goodness. Today is a, is an interesting day for technology. You can hear my disembodied voice. Hello. Hello. That was weird. Okay. So I'm going to sing a couple songs. And I'm sure there are multiple themes that can be determined, but there's one in particular that I have in mind. Disappearance is not it. Yeah, singing uh, lovely songs of disappearance. This is, see, this is what happens when we go live early. You never know what'll happen. The Halloween special. Ooh, ah, ah. All right, so let's see who can, uh, who can determine? Let me move the comments over so I can read your comments while I'm singing. The portal, the portal behind the fridge, it finally got me. It had been threatening for years. Wait, okay. <laughs> Tech rehearsal, I know. We did go live early. This is what, this is what happens. That's not the key. Hang on. I'm telling you, technology today. We're going to get there. Together. Together, we will get there. Okay. Let's see. The first person to guess what the theme is wins three imaginary points. It feels all right now. Hold me tight.
All right. So, that's the first song. The Beatles. Hold me tight. Love that song. It's just so simple and straight to the point. They got a couple songs on that CD, I think, that have hold. I think I want to hold your hand is also on there. All right. On. We got some spam on here. If you don't get it right when it comes, not that I don't mind seeing hot photos of your sister, but I do. <laughs> Hang on. You got you to gotta get the spam comments right when they come. Otherwise, it just becomes a breeding ground for crazy. I mean, and I don't mind a bit of crazy. I've got some myself, but we don't want the spam kind of crazy. Let me get into the moderation here. Let us see what we can do. Where did that comment go? Augie's favorite songs. I like that. Is that over on Facebook? I'm getting these really weird. Hey, there it is. Where did you go? Did it? I hate that when you're trying to, you know, do a nice little song with your friends. People trying to share X-rated photos. Hang on. You have to make this a safe place for folks of all ages. Oh, good. Okay, good. The bot got it. Only I saw it. Okay, good. It was a little scandalous. So I'm glad you didn't have to see it. it was someone saying, check out these hot photos of my sister. I'm like, does your sister know that you're putting these pictures online? <laughs> all right. Now that that's out of the way, hot sister aside,
Everyone is welcome to keep guessing. What could the theme be? Why am I saying it in this kind of spooky voice? I don't know. It's not very spooky. Um. There we go. But the theme will continue. Who can guess what it will be? Three invisible points are at stake. Still clueless, that's okay. Not for long. Thank you, everybody. Chronosynclastic infundibulum? Infundibulum? That's on your bingo card? Well, there you go, I just got it for you. you come to your senses you were out riding fancy for so long now oh you're a hard one but I know that you got your reason these things that are pleasing you can hurt you Don't you draw the queen of diamonds, boy? She'll beat you if she's able. You know the queen of hearts is always your best bet. Now it seems to me it's a bad thing having laid upon your table that you only want the ones that you can't get. Desperado Oh, you ain't Getting no younger Your pain And your hunger The driving you home And your freedom Oh, well That's just Some people talking Your prison Why don't you come to your senses? Come down from your fences and open the gate. Oh, it may be raining over oh, there's a rainbow above you. You better let somebody love you. Let somebody love you. You better let somebody. Better let 
let somebody love you before it's too late. All right, I will give you one last hint before we continue to rock on through the themes. There are a couple bad chords in that chart. Sorry about that. Um, so what is today? What is today's date? November. Anybody have any guesses? Oh. Do, 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 The fact that, um, that people aren't getting this, because we have a lot of extremely smart folks on here, it makes me think this is just way too obscure a theme. So, all of these songs are from artists' second albums. That's right. We had, um, I looked up what the names of the albums are, but now I've kind of spaced it out. So all of these songs are from artists' second albums. Carole King's second album was Tapestry. Um, this is, uh, you got the second right. So these are all from sophomore albums of artists. That, that's a pretty obscure theme. I was talking to my parents yesterday, and I was like, this is the theme that I think I'm going to do. And my mom just kind of looked at me like, so there you go. These are all from people's second albums. So I was looking through second albums and okay, what songs were on there? And there's a lot of there's a lot of really great songs on second albums. By the second album, a lot of artists are kind of getting into their, you know, they're getting into who they are musically. Some people just have great first albums right out the gate. But not everybody does. So uh you knew that, but you didn't want to show off. That's, that's appreciate. I appreciate that. <laughs> so it's a bit of a strange theme, but there's a lot of great second album songs. I love this song. Um, here's a song from Paul Simon's second album. No, I would not give you false soul on the strange and mournful day. But the mother child reunion is only an ocean away. Oh, a little darling of mine, I can't for life of me remember a Saturday. No, the state let it be, but it just don't work out that way. Course of a lifetime runs over and over again. No, I would not give you false hope, no, on this strange and mournful day. Well, the mother and child, you, yeah, is only emotion away. Oh, oh, little darling. Can't believe it's so, although it seems strange to say, I never be let all alone in such a mysterious way. In the course of a lifetime, runs over and over again. Thanks, Glenn. that song. I love the backgrounds on it. I heard that that was named after a, um, 
item that Paul Simon saw on a menu at a restaurant. Uh, and it was an egg and chicken dish, mother and child reunion. It's pretty dark. Ah, uh, yes, Christmas favorites. I'm one of those crazy people that can listen to Christmas music. Like, I was started singing Christmas songs a couple of months ago. But I realized that to some people that is extremely annoying. So don't worry. I'm not going to be breaking out any Christmas songs until we're in December. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, here's another song. Another second album song. I know that is pretty dark. I also did play this. Just a case to wait, I lost at sea. Just a case to And our soup. I've got serious soup on the mind. I I think it's like I don't know when when it gets to be this time of the year. Oh, who am I kidding? I love soup all year long. But when it starts to be this time of the year and it starts to get cold, all I want is soup. I just want soup. I find myself looking up like pictures of soup and looking up rest. I don't even cook, but I find myself looking up recipes of soup. And I'm like, wow, I could make that soup. And I could make it cheaper than you could buy it in a restaurant, but it's just too time consuming to make soup. Man. Anybody out there that just loves soup? Pea soup? Yes, all kinds of soup. Ramen is soup. I just love soup. Man. Don't even get me started about soup. What kind of soup? All kinds of soup. I've never met a soup I didn't like. Maybe Superman can make Superman sound new. Maybe I should like team up with a, with a soup company. 
You know what else I love? I love borscht. I love, oh, there's this Polish place by me that does pickle soup that's so good, although it's cream-based. So now that I can't do dairy, I have to find some soup alternatives. But a lot of ramen is dairy-free. Chili, I don't know if chili's a soup, but I love it. Sweet potato soup. Mustard soup, I'd be good for that. Oh, man. Let's see what is the most popular, I'm curious. What is the most, typing with one hand, sorry. What is the most popular soup around the world? So we have a lot of different people watching from different countries here and even different states. All the states have such a different personality that they could be a different country. So I'm curious, what, what soup do you love most where you come from? Or like what soup do you associate with home? I was in 13 the musical. French onion, chicken noodle, beet borscht, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin soup, lentil soup, tom kha gai, green pie soup, French onion soup is so good. Bean with bacon, matzo ball, Ooh, I love matzo ball. So <laughs> I found this article called the 20 best soups from around the world. And so it's saying gazpacho from Spain, split pea, laksa from Malaysia, minestrone, Italy, tom yum, Thailand, tortilla soup, Mexico. There's a couple great tortilla soup places near me. Caldo verde, Portugal, pho, Vietnam. Ooh, I love some pho. Oh my gosh, a crock pot. My mom's got a couple. I might just abscond. Next week's Weekly Wacky Beans. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Ooh, Hungarian bean soup. That sounds amazing. Chowder soup, it says from the U.S. I love chowder, but it's a very, it's a very cream-based soup. Ramen in Japan. Yep, I got to give it up to ramen. Oh, I had ramen the last two days. Question, is eating ramen three days in a row a bad thing? This isn't like the ramen that comes from the little can. This was ramen from a proper restaurant. Goulash. Mmm. We love us some goulash. Harira. Morocco. Whew. Egg drop. Best soup is koulajda. That sounds incredible. Mmm. Well... Thank you everybody so much for watching this turtle soup. Spicy butternut squash, ooh, duck soup. You know, I, I hope everyone has such a super week. I hope that your week, if you like soup, of course, but if you don't. I always thought it'd be fun to make a cooking show because I am not a cook. I'm really not. So it would be kind of a cooking show for people like me which you just try to like get through something and then probably just give up and order takeaway at the last minute. Miso soup. How could we forget miso soup? I love miso soup. Oh my gosh, come on. I had miso ramen the other day. It was the best of both worlds. No, you didn't get the time wrong. We just started early. I don't know why. So meatball minestrone. Snert soup. What is snert soup? Well, I'm going to run. Maybe I should get some soup. Big bowls of creative soup. I don't have any soup in my house, but there's a good place near me. Pancake stripe soup. That sounds amazing. I will, I will. Well, thank you everyone for sharing the soups that you love. The soups that are dear to your heart. And I just hope that everyone has a super week. I hope that Caldo Verde, yeah, I was reading about that. I've never had it. I really just hope that your week is so full of soup. I hope that soup comes to you when you least expect it. And if you see any soup this week, there's great power in words. So I'm sending you a soup wish. If you find yourself with soup this week, let me know. <laughs> What's soup? 
Anyways, it's time to uh, to have a little dance off. And then I gotta find some soup. All right, everybody, have a super rest of your week. German means